And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on. For our first deck of the day, we have a 12-hour stream today for getting our first quip goal. Um, we have added uh, Harry's Razors uh, in our goals as well. So if, when we hit any of these uh, stream goals, we'll be doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate those. Uh, we're also doing another 12-hour stream on Saturday as well. But for today, uh, we have a good amount of donation decks. We got four donation decks today, uh, starting off with, with them and with some of them. And our first one here is Abzan Legends. Um, so this deck looks pretty cool. Uh, we have a viewer that's been playing uh, been playing this and having a lot of fun with it and, and everything. So uh, let's try it out. Um, so basically, <clears throat> um, we have... So like the this the little bit of combo in here that um, is a little different is we have these Liliana untouched by deaths which the minus two cares about how many zombies you have and the minus three cares about zombies but we're not actually playing zombies so those two things aren't going to be doing much but what the plus one does is it does mill three cards for us hey there we go Matthew thanks for uh, getting your Harry's razor there. Hey, Harm. All right, so that's two referrals for Harry's there. All right, with <clears throat> by signing up for usually with Harry's razors, it's thirteen dollars um, for their trial pack. Uh, but if you sign up for a subscription, you get five dollars off, so it's only eight dollars. And if you use my code, you get five dollars off, so it's only three dollars. So only three dollars to try out Harry's razors. You can cancel the subscription at any time. And if you do, do if you do that, you also can get a donation deck for only ten dollars. So you can get a thirteen dollar donation deck if you sign up for Harry's. There. All right, back to our deck. We have Liliana. Uh, so we're just self milling. So the reason why that that's important, like why we'd want to just spend four mana on a card that all it does is self mill, is because we're playing three Primeval's Glorious Rebirths at the top end, where we're trying to fill our graveyard with a bunch of legendary permanents. And then, boom, seven mana, put them all back onto the battlefield. Um, so that's that's kind of like our, our cool inter interaction with our deck. Uh, so we're going to see if we can pull it off. And that's what we're really trying to do. Incubation Druid. I like using this instead of Land War Elf because Incubation Druid, after it adapts, can add a, a lot of mana. And, you know, we need that extra mana for the rebirth. So that's, that's pretty nice as well. Um, so let's give it a try. Let's go with here. Uh... Kai, you can be the picture. No, let's go with Rebirth. Rebirth, you can be the picture. All right, Abzan Legends. Perfect. Sounds good, Matthew. Yeah, whenever you want. Abzan Legends. <clears throat> this would be a fun day today. All right, this is a perfectly reasonable hand. Um, against aggro decks, Lyra will be able to uh, stabilize. Well, we'll hopefully be able to stabilize. We are on the draw. Hopefully, we're not dead already. Uh, I guess I'll play you. That's a lot of damage already. And turn two already taken eight. We may not survive till turn five. It's not looking like it. Yeah, it's definitely not looking like it. That's six coming in here. We're I mean we're dead next turn. Unless we draw something.
that's one problem about our, our deck is our, our curve is really, really high. Uh, you know, considering these Kamal's Juridic Vows and everything, but let's see if we can fix that after sideboarding. So we got Moment of Cravings, Mortifies, just bring in a lot cheaper things, Duress, uh, even Ixalan's Binding is fine. Um, I like all of those more than, like, Blast, Offering. Um, Bloodfast can, when we get low, can, you know, we can sack things to gain life. All right, maybe. Um, I don't think we really have time to do the Liliana Rebirth combo, though. Unfortunately. Um, Harry's ships to... I asked here. U.S., Canada, and the U.K. Shipping is free. Um, I want to trim some more of, of these things. At least like another rebirth. I got. I don't really want to play that rebirth. I could play just a harpooner to block. Yeah, harpooner as a blocker isn't the worst. That's reasonable. <laughs> King Soul. Oh god, everything's burning. <laughs> Alright, this is better. Got Incubation Druid on turn 2, Shalai turn 3, Lyra turn 4. Yeah, Bloodfast is like, it's a card I'm not going to like want to activate, but it can, um, like when we get to 5 or less life, it can, you know, gain us a lot of life. Alright, we don't need more lands deck. Okay, so we have to pay two life to shock to get Lyra in play. I think that's probably worth it. Shalai's going to be attacking in here for, for four life link. And, of course, they need to kill Shalai before they can target Lyra. So they're using the shock, so that's two damage. Uh, so they just need any, you know, three damage burn spell. Okay, they're gonna do two, two, and one. so many things. 
Man. Okay. All right, done with that. Oh, hey, nice dress. I'm going to just activate this incubation druid here. And yeah, they, they could be just saving spells um, for this third chapter of Flame Akeld. Come on, draw a land, please. Draw a land. Please don't draw a 3 damage burn spell that kills my Lyra. Uh. Alright, so if we block here, we're taking 10. And going down to four. I mean, if I block the Steam Kid, I'm taking eight and going to six. Might as well get the Pyromancer off the battlefield. We're just drawing lands. Man, our... That's lethal. Ugh. Red opponent drew pretty well. Don't usually have turn three, shall I turn four Lyra and, and just die. But we had nothing else to back that up. We didn't draw any spell that mattered. Um, besides those three in the opening hand of Incubation Druid, shall I Lyra, every spell we drew in the game didn't do anything. All right, let's pick up some Ws. All right, I'm glad we have this Incubation Druid right now. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think that... Um, not the turn that Flamekeld was coming off, but I think the, the turn before that, I probably should have attacked with the Lyra. The turn before that. Wow. Dead weight? Brutal. That's fine. That's certainly a, a spell. I would rather them use removal on that thing than on Alenda or Shalai. Looks like our opponent's got kind of a budget deck here. Shalai and Lyra should be able to take over if we can just get the lands. There we go. Um, let's go with Shalai first. That animation is so cool. Definitely worth it to just play... Alenda because of that animation. Alright, and we should have this from here. Whoa! Destroy target legendary creature? No, my Shalai.
Of course, sacrificing Bounty Agent to kill Shalai here will at least put two counters on this Alenda. All right, so we're going to adapt the Druid and play Liliana. And start milling to make Izoni better. I call, and the dead answer. And I'm just going to be attacking with Lyra. I have a deliciously morbid idea. I don't really care that, uh, care if they attack Liliana. Nice, Atriu. Yeah, glad. Yeah. Harry's is what I've been using for the last, like, two, three years or so as well. I'll actually try next time. Because Alenda has lifelink, so, you know, just get to gain that life. Grow Alenda. More mill. Immortality is worth Yeah, feeling anything. good for the twelve hour day. One person's trash is another woman's army. Thirty four. That's a lot. Man, this Alenda's Pretty big. Just untouched. This is the only Liliana we have in the deck. I value moral flexibility. No, my rebirth. I need that card. Z. Go to combat. Let's attack with this druid. We'll see if our opponent trades their Twilight Panther for our druid. Cool, Worrell. I'm glad. Um... This. All right, got the first one. Liliana didn't really matter there. I mean, we're playing against a, a budget deck here, but it was pretty cool. I think we can just run it back. Let's do that. Let's. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the rest of the Liliana cards are all untouched as well. We're not playing those. Uh, I guess we try this. We could get ran over, I suppose. But we'll see. Yeah, we don't. Ha There's no Chandra's in standard, are there right now? I am perfectly fine with the Mortify on the Bloodfast. I don't really care that much to activate it, and then that just means that's a turn that my opponent's not putting more on the battlefield. Um, so perfectly fine with that Mortify there. Ah, uh, there's the there's a bold Pyromancer, Chandra bold Pyromancer. Mm -hmm. 
you can into the grave with you. Maybe they won't kill my Liliana. Maybe they'll just attack me. We don't want them to kill my Liliana because I want to be able to cast this vile offering. Don't kill Lily. Hooray! All right, let's see what else we get. I'm pretty sure we're just taking Lyra. Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. All right, so we'll kill. Yeah, let's get Lyra and kill that. Aha! Good thing Liliana is just so. Like that was pretty sweet. Like, you know, so unassuming. You know, didn't think that Liliana was gonna do anything, and then we suddenly get to fire off, fire that off. And of course, Liliana is ticking up the mill, finds the Lyra to put in our graveyard that we get to go get back. That's a pretty nice combination there. Now our opponent's like, oh man. Ooh. Still attacking, that should put us down to four. Get to deal one damage. Well, they aren't useful to me alive. Hmm. I'm gonna wait till next turn before I vow. I've, would you like to? So see I, I would have been able to vow see. for. I could have shocked and vowed for four, and I would have got these. So I would have just gotten in a Johnny. I need that rebirth. Come to me. Ooh, Alenda. There's another rebirth. Don't get squeamish on me. Ah, there's the the last re rebirth. Um I think we're gonna wait even a little bit on this vow. We'll vow next turn. Um because then then next turn we protect Liliana's ultimate. Meet my newest friend. I don't really need to mill over more cards. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got that Izoni. Izoni only had three. Yeah, I, I don't know where those other rebirths are, but they're not the top three. One person's trash is another woman's army. All right, so Liliana kind of did some stuff. It was just like this planeswalker that milled us a little bit that our opponent ignored because they're like, well, that, that card doesn't do anything. Um, and then, uh, surprise, here's Yogmoth's Vile Offering, which that card is the card that just won the game for us. Killing their Shalai, getting us Lyra in play. Yeah, it'll be pretty interesting to see if we can play some more legendary sorceries after all these planeswalkers from War of the Spark. Um, I should make cards like Yogma or uh, especially like Kamal's Druidic Vow. You can just dump a bunch of planeswalkers. Yeah, poor opponent. That last time. All right, well, we're gonna need some more lands. Her deck is really high curved. It's even more high curved than the normal Legends decks I play. Haven't drawn a land yet. After keeping our three lander with Druid.
or we, we cannot cast Vile Offering or Blast with Bloodfast in play. We have to have a creature or a Planeswalker, so we're going to have to have a Lyra or a Vivian in play. Hey, Gatsby. Happy 12-hour stream day. All right, well, good thing Bloodfast drew us that extra card. Um, Vivian or Lyra? Lyra's safer, because Vivian gets spell pierced or dive downed. Um, let's go with the safer one. <laughs> yeah, Gatsby and Crimson had a bit fight yesterday. It was crazy. This time we have our rebirths, but we haven't don't have Liliana yet. All right, so they want to play some instant speed spell plus dive down. So we know that they have dive down. The only reason you make that attack is you have dive down. So they're just announcing dive down. I hope they don't have spell pierce as well. Now this will get rid of my druid, but get rid of both their drakes. So we, since we know they have dive down, playing Vivian isn't the best. So they have dive down plus an inst another instant. So maybe like a shock um, or an opt. Or something like that, because they attacked with a 3-4. So there's an opt, so. Heck yeah, Coffee Master. 12-hour stream today. Lots of awesome decks on the docket. Alright, and hopefully we draw land. I'm just going to play this Vivian. There we go. Let's get this Vivian in play and start ticking up and finding more lands. Let's tear this place apart. So, bad news about the Lava Coil is our Lyra is exiled, our Druid was exiled from the Blast. We don't actually have anything in our graveyard for these Rebirths yet. Hmm. Hmm. Drew third rebirth. All three. <laughs> All three of these dead cards. Uh, Vile Offering's not really doing anything either. I mean, might as well one, might as well tip up, tick up the Vivian. No one knows the wilds like I do. So this will eat dive down. At least get it out of their hand. I'd rather have these two in play. Yeah. Could just minus three. And eat it with the minus three. Well, that's bad. I wanted that thing to stay alive so I could rebirth next turn. I was kind of I was planning on just using the vile offering to eat the dive down and tick Vivian up to try to Not find another bad. legend for Fair these. Enough. But then after drawing that legend, where I got to play that plus druid. Um, then I kind of figured just doing that. Ah, 
Now we don't have a legend anymore, though. That's the problem with these legendary sorceries. You gotta have your legend in play. Naya Huatli is a really fun deck. Yeah, we've drawn just a, a whole bunch of dead cards, but uh, yeah, we should be okay. I mean, us exiling two drakes with a um, with the Urza's Ruinous Blast and still losing is not a good sign. Yeah, Bloodfast is a legendary enchantment. Legendary sorceries you can only cast if you control a legendary creature or planeswalker. Enchantments are not creatures or planeswalkers, necessarily. Right, do we have more blasts in the sideboard? Bindings are good. Mortifies are good. Harpooner is kind of weird. Uh, we may not have many creatures in the graveyard like we saw before. We have three blasts already. Definitely want another Vivian. Um... It doesn't seem like Liliana's going to be able to survive with the Flyers. Let me just take those cards out. Ooh, Binding plus Blast is a horrible combination. Alright, I guess I'm taking Binding out. That is a horrible combination. Yeah, we can't we can't have binding in a in our blast deck. That's that's an oversight in the sideboard. All right, we can take this. Um, I I want to like I don't need to like turn one duress. I want to save duress for a dive down uh, later to be able to protect like a removal spell. We don't need to fire off like duress right away on turn one. I'd rather give them their time to draw like their dive down or spell pierce or something like that and. Use our Duress to protect our Urza's Ruinous Blast or Yawgmoth's Vile Offering or Vivian or, or whatever. These coils are really annoying. I think I may just fire it off here, though, um, to fill our curve. I 
Attack. Zyzerat's doing work. So they have two cards we don't know about. The card they drew off Crackling Drake and another card. And one of them is a Crackling Drake. Attack. They double block to kill an Izareth. I do not mind that at all with having a Lenda in play. Yeah, they're down to four. They're not in the best spot. They've drawn lots of creatures and we've had a bigger creature. No! Ugh. My Izareth. Alright, Urza's Ruinous Blast. Come on, deck. What? I guess they want to chump block? They could just triple block the Lyra. Now they have to chump. <laughs> yeah, that describes my playlist pretty good blast from the past. Yeah, I think they should have stayed back and just triple blocked. Alright, let's try again. Game three. It's better when they draw like all their spells or all their creatures, but not like the great combination of both like they had the, the second game. Or the first game. It's like the second game they just kind of drew a whole lot of creatures. Their creatures are nearly as good without the spells. And their spells are nearly as good without creatures. No, I don't think I necessarily just try to force that. I, I don't think I would trade one Drake for the Lyra if they stayed back. So they could have just kind of stayed alive and everything. Because I, I don't think that's a, a good trade necessarily. Yeah, Izareth did awesome. Getting that 9 damage in, then getting coiled. Um, I was already kind of playing my Temple Garden here. But we did draw Godless Shrine. Maybe I need to shock Duress to try to protect Druid. But it's not that big a deal. I do like having Duress Kaya next turn if Druid survives. And if, if Druid doesn't survive, which it doesn't, we still have we have Kaya to get rid of Terramander, so it's honestly just fine. I think I'll get rid of these. The sweeter the victory. I need to wait for them to have their uh, the voice line for entering before I choose the up or down so they can have the other voice line. Yeah, Kaya's pretty sweet. I do wish Kaya was better. I was so excited, like, you know, before preview season to play Kaya. Kaya was, like, the most excited, the card I was most excited about from the set. It's still not bad, but I wish it was better. Yeah, animations are awesome. Hey, what's up, Colonel Fault? We got an early stream today. We're doing a 12-hour stream. We got eight awesome decks on the docket so far. We'll see if if we need a ninth. We got Selesnya Angels in the background. Which I guess I could just add Selesnya Angels to the end right now. Oh, 
Honey, that's what I do. The dusk rose. Hey, Thor. Hope everything in Europe's going good. No. Bye bye. Um. Yeah, I just don't need to fire off this duress. Yeah, Captain Marvel is really good. <laughs> it's cold and rainy there as usual. <laughs> yeah, I, I did really enjoy Captain Marvel. Um, it's just kind of a, it was a good feel-good movie. Melody. I don't have a lot of mana. Spell Pierce I can play around. Dive Down, certainly annoying. So is Chart, of course. Basically, all these cards are pretty annoying. As you saw, I'm dressing now so I can tick up the Kaya and, and Exile, the card I'm dressing. Um, I feel like I should take Melody or Charter Course. Or Dive Down or Lava Coil. No, not Coil. So, Melody... They need a lot more mana, and if I take Charter Course, it's going to be hard for them to get mana. I think. I hope you said your goodbyes already. There doesn't seem to be a real big reason for me to play this Incubation Druid. Um, but I guess I will. Because, like, the Incubation Druid gets exiled by Urza's Ruinous Blast. It turns on their Lava Coil, but I, I don't mind them Lava like. I would I would like them to lava coil the incubation druid and not lava coil something else. The druid can't attack through Enigma Drake. Ugh. Dive down doesn't matter right now, and it probably doesn't at all. I guess with blast. Uh, the other thing the incubation druid does is it it could let me get a really big. Kamal's Druidic Vow if we draw that card. I mean, all they need to do is, like, they can draw a Crackling Drake, which Crackling Drake counts the Exile Pile as well. Try that again. I dare you. Uh, that's really bad for us. All these charter courses, they get to kill Kaya now. That is awful. That's that's the reason why I probably should not have played the incubation druid. We got we let them cast the lava coil. You won. This time. Wow, they found all four charter courses. That is that was really lucky. You know, after we You're right, that was quite lucky for them. After we um Made them discard one charter course. Well, Harpooner's just a 3-2. Harpooner doesn't kill a 4-4 four four when it's a 3-2. We don't have any creatures in our graveyard. That's that's the whole zero thing here. I could have just played Harpooner as a blocker, I suppose, and not fought. Maybe I should have just blasted last turn. I wasn't really expecting, you know, them to be able to kill Kaya, but maybe I should just blast it and got rid of the Enigma Drake. Yeah, they've keep they've coiled all three of my creatures. They've had three coils. I guess I should have fired this thing off earlier. I was, you know, waiting for them to draw more creatures, but they just drew all these charter courses. Gotta ditch all these spells. That's 11 spells so far. We exiled six and they have five more in here. Perfect. 
Perfect. Thank you, deck. Perfect. Alright, then just make sure there's... Whoa, Ral. Um... That was, like, the perfect card. Yeah, they'll just take it with Entrancing Melody, but that still gets rid of their 5-4s. I'll just have Har Harpooner, I guess, to block it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seriously, seven? And they have dived down anyway. But I wanted them to use the dive down and not be able to just adapt to the Terramander. It's done a great job of drawing all their spells. So all their charter courses are gone. Three of the lava coils. Just two ops and one discovery. So I trade Lyra and Terramander. If I double block, I trade Lyra and Terramander. And dive down. Like, so I trade Lyra. I can trade Lyra for Terramander plus dive down if I double block. They're saying good game. Like, the game's over. Do they have shock? I think they just put the... Okay, they're still rearranging them. I don't think the game's over. Uh, but Duress is a terrible draw here. Can we get, a Dru Can we get any of our legendary sorceries? Get Druidic Vow or Vile Offering. That's a good one. All right, let's duress. See if they have a counter spell. Oh, two lands. I've lost the wilds. Are my shield. Really hope we win this after that good game. I'm 
And they played the land we didn't know about, so they still have the two lands in hand. Balance comes. That's pr probably their crackling drake, right? Ooh, a Rao. Rao's a good one. Uh, they cannot kill Shauna. Nice to get out of the lab. Which looks like they're trying to kill Shauna. They can't kill Shauna with the minus ability. They're trying, but they can't because Shauna cannot be the target of abilities. So, Rao's minus is an ability. Well. Let's All see right, what they're the just going to tick up. All right, so they got something better than Opt. Enigma Drake. You can't stop nature. Ah, my legendary sorceries. All right, so... Harpooner, take out... Drake. Mortify this thing. Now, Shauna's going to be a 5 5 when it's attacking. So I just need Shauna and this to attack the Rao for first. Because whenever Amara attacks, it makes another token, so it'll turn it into a 5 5. Alright, we got to win. <laughs> They did chart 14 million courses. <laughs> there. All right, wait, is our our second win? Yeah, so we are two and two and one. Hey, Peak with our first sub of the day. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub there, Peak. Hope you're having a good start to your day. Uh just like I am after that clutch win. I like our opponent's name, Magic Turtle 98. That's a good name. Turtles are cool. Uh oh. That's a quick hand there. They could they could have turn three Vivian. Man, I would get wrecked by turn three Vivian. <laughs> I need a magic turtle emote. Woo! Get that Vraska out of here. That's good for us. No! Get that out of here too. No, don't keep that. No. That's a really good start. Presumably they don't have a land. They didn't, they didn't play a land last turn. Oh, please don't draw a land. 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 No! And that's lethal. Dang. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, don't know if I really do very much here. Or is this Ruinous Blast, of course, going to be like a real important card? I think Mortify is about the only card in the sideboard that I may want. Um, nah. Yeah, we lost a game like that, like a turn four game to Mono Red earlier, and now lost a turn four game to them as well. To the Mono. Looked like Mono Green. They didn't play any cards but green. 
Uh, I mean, Blast is like is our best card. If they have a really fast start like that again, though, we're pretty dead. Let me try it. It's not likely they're going to have another hand like that, right? Please, no Lanowar Elf. Yeah. Pass. Dope. No explore. Ugh. At least they didn't have the Lanowar Elf. Ah, they're Soul Tide. We did not draw anything to help our curve. Nothing in our first three draws to play on turn four. In fact, nothing but lands. So as long as they don't have any creatures here, and we can play Vivian and be able to untap with Vivian, hopefully. Okay. Untap with Vivian. Wild animals I like. Meet my newest friend. <clears throat> Hopefully we can untap with Vivian. Every defeat is a new beginning. Man, opponent's a jerk. Confirmed. Confirmed jerk. I guess I could play the Amara there as well. I wanted to be able to, like, next turn I can double spell. I can, like, play Amara, and then before they can do anything else, I can fire one of these off. Like, that's why I wanted to, like, save Amara. So they couldn't just have, like, double removal spell, and then I'm stuck with these cards in hand. Um, because I have priority after casting Amara. So after Amara resolves, I can then resolve something else. Stan, my crew is the finest in the seas. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um, do I want to chump the wow growth? I'll just block this thing. There's nothing in the graveyards right now, right? Yeah. Alright, so we go Amara. And then Offering... We'll get Alenda back and kill the Vraska. Meet your end. Cause getting their branch walker back doesn't do a whole lot with Tristani. Correct, getting exiled does not count as dying, correct. Awesome, Matthew. Glad it's glad it's been going well. Good to hear. All right, let's exile those things. We need to draw more spells. Our opponent has six cards in hand still. We only have this Tristani. That card's ridiculous. Hmm. So Amara just turns into a life linker. Uh, 
Ah, they went no blocks. Keep Alenda's power low. Wait. Oh, right, because Alenda's power goes down to, like, negatives. So you don't actually get any creatures. Now we're taking lethal. Bleh. Hydrocrasis, real good. Alright, so we went two and two with this version of Abzan Legends. Um, all right, so about the deck, uh, it turned out, I know, I know the person that, that's been playing this deck quite a bit has usually been playing it in best of one. Um, and so they, they put together the sideboard for me for best of three, but it's been just basically playing in best of one. Um, so one thing that we noticed with the sideboard is we don't want Ixalan's binding in our sideboard, uh, because of how the matchups that Ixalan's binding is good against, usually the Urzarunas Blast is also good there, so we don't want those two together. So that's something we found out there. Um, but besides that, I probably, I mean, I should have probably brought in this Vivian, though, um, in the sideboard, and I think I should have sideboarded that in probably instead of the Tristani, because Tristani is weak to finality like that. But I guess Tristani's good against Hostage Taker. I don't know. But probably should have brought in this, this Vivian somewhere. But anyway, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Rebirth and Liliana, while that is like a really cool combination, we just, we we're never really that close to doing it. Um, a lot of Lava Coils and Vrass's Contempt, so we weren't even having creatures in our graveyard for Rebirth anyway. Um, but it's... I don't know. It seems like a little, like pretty tough to actually have that combo pull, pulled off there. Um, so that that part of our deck, you know, that's like our, our main part of our deck that we're trying to do here. And that's, that's what they've been uh, doing a lot and really liking Liliana Rebirth uh, combo. But those games that we played, that very last game, I mean, that's the thing. Like That very last game, if we would have had Liliana and Rebirth, you know, it was a longer game that could have done something with it, but just actually drawing both of those and having the Liliana survive and all that kind of stuff is pretty tough. Um, so not sure if I not sure if I love that. I mean, the Incubation Druids were awesome. That card is good. You know, Ruinous Blast, Vile Offering, of course, real good. Wonder if I should be playing Incubation Druid instead of Land War Elf and. Naya. Well, I guess Naya has like more of the threes that you really want to hit on turn two. There. Yeah, we have we have a couple Yogmoth file offerings. The, the that that card was good, you know, killing Vraska and stuff. Um yeah, like these these cards are certainly good. But I, I kind of just don't don't think I really like Rebirth and Liliana and just wish, like I think that just going like more Vraskas like you can have like four mana Vraska six mana Vraska, um, and more Vivian and just have like those kind of Planeswalkers instead of I Izoni, Primeval's Glorious Rebirth and Liliana and a Johnny, we'll probably just go with all the Vraska Planeswalker kind of things. Hey, thanks T Moneyless for that sub there thank you so much getting that resub in there for the second month that is sub number two on the day um so yeah that's you know tried some new cards here and that's the thing always like trying new cards and new interactions and just seeing you know how cards kind of work out and, and how you like them and everything alenda was pretty impressive overall i liked alenda the dusk rose that card was pretty impressive overall, even without us having, you know, tons of creatures. It was still pretty good. Um, Izerath was definitely impressive. Liked those. Kaya was cool. So. Uh, I would rather just have better cards against Krasis than, than Sun Cleanser, because Sun Cleanser just, like, the body doesn't matter. Like, I could just play Mortify to kill the, you know, to kill the Krasis. There's there's better answers than Sun Cleanser. 
but but there we go that's abs and legends so if you're watching this video later on on youtube don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there but thanks for watching and i'll see you for the next video